Hey everyone, this is shifting memory, and this is front six. Um, yeah, memory is kind of a slow spirit, France is kind of a fast adversary, but we have this one to navigate some Dahan around. If we find some more Dahan movement, maybe some strife, we might stand a chance here. Initial explorers in wetlands, which is kind of sad because this it puts this Dahan into danger. Um, not sure how I will go about this. Um, we'll see. Um, yeah, uh, found six explorer. Uh, put out a presence, get a miner. The miner is um, could be gold allure, which would allow us to empty like this wetland into this mountain. That's kind of tempting. Um, Gift of Twin Days is also not not bad. It allows us to uh, play Share Secrets twice. Um, yeah, but clearing this land seems like a nice option. So we pick this, put a presence here, and play it. it. Means we don't have a moon this turn, but that's not the end of the world. Okay. Burn an event. It's putting down roots, but we burn it. Then we build not here, but here. We explore in mountains. Okay. Um, well, that means we are going to pile a lot of stuff in here. Um, France six explorer goes here, and then it's slow powers. So we pull in a. Town and an explorer from here, I think. Um, yep. And uh, at a strife. Uh, and I mean, why wouldn't we? Maybe we get stricken. Okay. Um, that's that. Time passes. Uh, we gain another miner. Um, there's Carapist land. I think we'll pick that. Some nice defense. Yeah. Uh, maybe my lands rent or do not build. Oh, that's also tempting. I can't get a Dahan in there. Mm, unless I let this go. Like I mean, I, destroying the city is not that important. So maybe I should actually not pick Carapace, but pick Rights of Lands Rejection and gather uh, these two Dahan into this land and uh, then use that one to prevent the build here. And then defend it next turn, five damage. Uh, five is like one too much. But yeah, oh man, that's interesting. That surprises me a bit. But this feels like the right play to me. Mm, okay. Put on presence, we put it here. Uh, we gain, we pay, we flip. Uh, we pay one moon to trigger our right innate with threshold. So if something changes in this land, uh, we get an element. Um, then we use uh, share secrets to gather this Dahan and this Dahan. So something changed here, so we gain our moon back. Um, and then we use rights of, rights of land rejection uh, here. So we generate two fear and we don't build there. And then we have our left innate, which generates three defense here. Um, Yep, uh, that's all our fast powers. So we enter the invader phase where we have an event. Just seek new farmland. Um, uh, push a town to a land without town. I mean, that makes defending this easier. So let's put that here. Uh, putting it here does not affect the overall town number and we have not blighted yet. 
So maybe we put it here so that we don't put extra towns out and take a blight to scale. But then again, our town number is really nice this turn. Also, I'm happy that I didn't put Dahan into this land to kill the city. Yeah, I think having a city over there will not phase us that much. Memory is kind of good at like taking apart bigger stuff later on. We just need to get to later on, and Tulsa is what prevents us from getting there. So yeah, we will push it there. Um, uh, that actually generates an element as well, which is a small argument, but certainly one that can be made. Let me grab a stone. Um, yep, then the other two parts do nothing. Uh, then we ravage in wetlands, nothing happens. We build in mountains, not here. Here we build a city, that gives us our third element from this. We the moon, oops. And then we explore in sands. So one explorer here, two here. <coughs> and an additional explorer in this channel over here. And then time passes, because we don't have anything show. Um, yeah, so we want to generate two defense this turn there. And we let this one go, that should be easy. Um, do we already look at mages so that we know what we need to prepare for? Maybe we do just that. Uh, this one and this one this turn kind of really slow maybe these two that at least generate some fear yeah, let's look at majors there is sleep and never awakens that's really good against france it takes a lot of explorers out actually me we might then not want to discard this one Actually, that means we might want to play this one. So let's discard this one. Um, put up one presence. Let's go here then, because we can threshold sleep this turn. That's really strong. Holy! Yeah, okay. Play this and this. Um, again, we pay. And then we um, discard one moon for this one to threshold it. And then we use it on this mountain to skip actions there. And then we get to remove two explorers from this land and six explorers from among our lands so this one and then one two three four five six and then we gain three fear because we destroyed seven explorers one, two three and then we can generate another two fear and flip the top card of the fear deck strife is also nice against france um yeah okay yeah okay this i think i think this just won the game that's I, I i don't know like if we if i manage to now lose this still then uh i i certainly deserve it um what i should have done before doing this is of course uh, using this effect on this land uh, so whenever ever anything happens there i gain an element marker and then i would have gone for a moon for the removed explorer um, yeah and uh, then I kind of even don't need to defend there anymore maybe because we are like ahead we discard one stone to get defend three there anyways yeah let's do that then we have an event which is cultural assimilation that doesn't affect us nice then each beast deals two damage so one to the town and one to this explorer that changes things in this land so we gain one element 
for the stone. And then I need board shoes again with at least two Dahan, at least two town cities. We don't have those. Okay, so we have a fear card. Invaders do not build in lands with cities. Yeah, we have made sure of that. Thank you, fear card, for stating the obvious. Um, oh, wait, they wouldn't have built that. Whatever. Uh, we ravage. Um, not here. Here, this town dies, and we get the last, uh, like, third element from this effect. Well, I think I'll just, like, go for a sun or so, because we might need it later. I think with this, we are kind of set up fine for now. Could go for a third stone. Could go for a third stone. I can never have enough stone. Um, then we build in sands. We build a city here. And then we explore in coastal lands. So it might be like the only explorer that still has some potential for um, France to do something here. But even that I think we will handle. Wait, no, no, not, not twice. This is next turn. Uh, France 6 Explorer. We'll put um, here or so. I, mean, I will most likely uh, threshold sleep next turn again anyways. Uh, yeah, and then time passes. And I think we need to reclaim. Put out a presence. Put it here. And then we play sleep and study again. Uh, we gain three, we gain an element marker, and now we grab the sun that I thought about earlier. We need to generate four defense there, uh, which is a little expensive, but fine. Um, uh, wait, for this effect we should have added this guy there. Yeah, okay. Haven't gotten new information since. Um, and we pay and we're ready. So we discard one moon again to uh, threshold sleep. We use this right innate on this land. So whenever something changes in this sands, we get an element marker. And then we use thresholded sleep on um, uh, actually not super easy. Can pull the Han in there next turn, so I will use it on this jungle. Uh, remove these two, uh, these two, and this one that makes two fear and gives an element for removing something in this land. We will take a moon back and then to trigger this, we need to spend one wind and three stone. And we defend four in here. And then we use this one, generate two fear and flip up the, uh, flip the top card. Um, there will be the Slave Rebellion next turn. Oh my god, I forgot that there will be the Slave Rebellion this turn, which will be happening here. So we don't need that much defense. Give us our stone back. We actually only need... Um, to spend one stone to get the second level, not all three, and we don't need to spend wind at all. Um, yeah, and this is an only defense three. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, what are we getting? Strife and land of Dahan, sure. That will be nice if we gather Dahan there next turn and generate another fear card. Let's see if we can manage to do that. Okay, uh, kind of ready. And then we enter the invader phase where we have this Slave Rebellion. So we had a Strife here, and this town dies and becomes a Dahan. And that was an action, the second action in this land, so we generate. Um, let's go for a stone. Um, then this gets shuffled back. 
have another event which is no bravery without numbers um, okay that's unfortunate that means we don't ravage there so the city survives and in each land with beast one damage per beast it does nothing and in each land push the wonder harm per badlands or disease it does nothing two fear cards it is strife in a land with or adjacent to beast I can put it on this city and defend doesn't matter ravage they won't ravage there that's unfortunate building coast explore in jungles um, and what last one goes here uh, okay and then uh, that was all time passes so we need to defend there this turn and we want to gather some Dahan in there uh, but ideally we leave one Dahan here we already drew cultural assimilation right or was that yeah we did okay um, so we draw two Dahan in there defend here as well um, for that we need to find a power card we are not that rich this turn I think it's a little safer to go for a miner um, worst case, we let this land go. Yeah, let's go for a miner. Yeah, okay, that doesn't do anything for us. Um, okay, yeah, we blight here once, that's fine. Means it's a little difficult to take care of both of these lands next turn. Um, let's grab blight removal. Let's grab this one. Maybe we remove this blight. Ah, blight removal against France kind of sucks. Maybe we should just take this one. Don't think it matters too much though. Uh, we get to put out a presence. Do we go for three plays? No, not yet. We also want the reclaim one. The reclaim one was really useful. Uh, let's put that here uh, we can also trigger hmm. yeah maybe we defend here and use the the share secrets effect here that's much better yeah we will do that so we play this and then something that allows us to trigger our innate um, This one so that we can push these three Dahan in there and then we find something for that land. Grab a major next turn. Can you pay? Be ready. Mm. So we use our defend three on this uh, jungle and we will use uh, share secrets. Oh, actually, um, I gain one element still from this one and can generate one element here and we need three wind to threshold this um, are we better off yeah we are so uh, we spend the moon does this even work As well as I want to, but that's fine. Um, yeah, we spend a moon to threshold our right innate or to bring it to the max level. And whenever something changes here, which is not my favorite land for that, uh, we will get an element. Then we use right of land rejection to push these three Dahan in there. Uh, that gives us an element, which will be a wind. Um, and we spend these two wind. So that we have three wind for thresholding this. And then we gather this Dahan and this Dahan. And he won't die this turn. 
allows us to take take up the towns again. Um, yep, we do it like that. And we have an event, which is rising interest. Um, plus one damage from towns and cities doesn't hurt us. Yeah, so we really want that. Uh, so uh, we forget flow down river and since we forget we are allowed to discard um, so we return the top fear card even though I like that one but now it goes away and beast of the jungle on each board add a beast to a jungle without blight one fear of invaders are present there let's put it here because that's the scarier land that also gives us an element uh, or which will be a wind it's the second time we've used this on no, each board we add a, a wilderness to a land with Tahan. Um, let's put it into one that will empty, like this one. Oh, this one already came up. Let's put it here. And we don't have a fear card? Okay, I thought we had a fear card, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, then we ravage in coastal lands, so here uh, this guy takes one damage and dies here. These two guys guy die against this Dahan. And here we blight, but the Dahan survive and take out the two towns. Um, then we build in jungles. Uh, here we build a city and a town, and this is the third time we get to pick an element there. Just grab a moon again. And then we explore in sands. And then we put out an additional explorer and we will put it here. Yep. Okay. Uh, escalation. Um, yeah, we'll escalate here. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. Time passes. So, how much damage is in there? Eight. Uh, yeah, that means we can defend this with our left innate. So I'll just go and fish for a major. It hopefully does something. Uh, there's unlock, which is pretty exciting for us. There's also dream of the untouched land, which we should be able to threshold. Um, like dream plus boon of ancient memories. Also unrelenting growth. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, stream actually good. Skipping the build here this turn. Hmm. I mean, I just realized I could also sleep, play sleep this turn, which is also not too bad. Or would we afford with unrelenting growth? We would up to would go up to six energy and an extra element marker each turn. I guess we will go for dream because it's fun the spirit can threshold it if we play dream and boon of ancient memories can we still defend here i mean uh, that will allow us to grab a wind here a wind here then we can threshold this somehow um we also need water though no we have two water we have two grass we need one moon and one stone for that. Yeah, that all works. Yeah, I don't know whether that's the right shot. Probably it isn't, but it's fun. Uh, we discard this one. Uh, we reclaim sleep just in case. Uh, we play this one and this one. I put out a present still. Um, let's put it here. Actually, maybe there. Yeah. 
and then we gain um, uh, we gain one element marker here which I think will be wind gain pay so yeah to threshold this we need one extra moon and one extra stone and we also get to use the top effect because it's not a replacement so let's target this land i think and remove this town this explorer and one blight and then we add a new island board what does the reminder actually say uh, sure okay um, where is island boards and then sports uh, how do I rotate this like this Can I not slot it in here? No, I can. Okay. 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 That looks pretty enough. Um, yeah. And then we get to put uh, two beasts, two wilderness, two badlands, and two presence onto that board. So let's. Go all the way here. Getting three plays might be important at some point. Let's go. Let's go like this. Um, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to like just go here or so. Uh, to wilderness. Let's add that here, and uh, we will spill onto this board. But let's still protect coastal lands. Maybe we should like go like this. Um, and then we will add uh, beasts, two beasts, two badlands. So let's add like badlands, um, beasts here, here, uh, here and here or so. Um, yep, we do that. Okay, so this is thresholded. And then we need to get the defense aid from this one. So we have two moon, we need three wind, which we don't have right now. So we will use this to generate one wind. And then we need four stone, so that's all of this. And then we generate defend eight here. Yeah, that's that. And then uh, we enter the invader phase where we have an event. Just gradual corruption on each board added blight to a land with town city. Um, we will only do it on the top board, so we won't do anything there. Fatality is right, and each land with disease, we don't have disease. And each spirit may add one Dahan to one of its lands with Dahan. Nice, that clears this land then. That's good. Um, uh, no fear cards, ravage and jungles, so uh, this is 8 damage, we have defend 8 and then everything dies. Um, uh, then we build in sands but only on the top board, and then we explore in mountains. So here, and here, and here. Here and then on each board, uh, which we will only do on the bottom board, we add a town here, and then we get a, add a France six explorer on each board, 
Um, let's put that here. And then um, time passes, I think. Oh no, we still have this one. Target ourselves, gain a minor, sure. Uh, not too excited. Uh, I guess this has nice symbols for us and allows us to move to Han into relevant lands. Um, yeah. Okay, so we need to defend here against the Ravage. But that should be easy because it's only 4 damage. <clears throat> Do we need to reclaim here? No, we can play this and like anything. This and this, for example. This maybe, yeah. So we use the reclaim one to reclaim this one, and then we gain a major, which is pent up. Uh, sure, let's grab that one and discard elemental teachings. Go for. Yeah, we don't play pent up this turn. I think we do this this turn. Um, so we put this one out. And uh, let's put that here. I was obsessed about. Uh, maybe let's put that here. I wanted to get a presence here for being able to use sleep on this board, but like, why, why bother? Um, maybe actually, if we're going to threshold sleep this turn, why are we going to use it like here or here? No, like in the mountain here, I think. So we go here. Uh, wait, this one I can't move. This one. Let's do it like that. Okay. Wait, this is not thresholded yet. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah. Pay and ready. Um, yeah, we use this. Oh, we can gain one elemental marker where we will gain a moon. Um, and then we use this right innate here. So when we change things in this land, we gain elements. Uh, we use share secrets of survival and get a two Dahan here. That gives us an element. Uh, we gain a stone. What, we wanna thresh up, uh, th uh, threshold pent up as well at some point. So we should get some fire. Um, then we discard a moon to threshold uh, sleep um, so when we use it uh, here to skip all actions um, yeah and then we get to remove one explorer from target land and then one from uh, six from our land. So one and then two, three, four, five, six. That's three fear. And then we have, yeah, this one refused to give us stuff here. Uh, we remove to explorer here. That gives us an element. Let's grab the fire now. And that's almost that. We still have a defend three that we will put here. Um, then we enter the invader phase where we have an event. It is Numinous Crisis. I don't use Numinous Crisis. Uh, that's the Slave Rebellion, so I put it aside. It is heavy farming. Towns do plus one damage. That's fine. Each beast destroys one explorer, that's also fine. And then I just bought add a Dahan to a jungle or wetland with Dahan. Sure, that goes here. So the city will die in the slave rebellion. So we just need to get like Dahan in there, I think. Um, 
yeah there's that Let's put this away already and put the slave rebellion back on top and we do two fear cards defend two sure each player chooses a different land of the Han, one damage per the Han. Well, maybe the city dies now. And each player may push up to three explorers or towns from inland land. Um, I don't know. Do I want to push this somewhere? Sure, let's push it here. Okay. That's that. Uh, then we uh, ravage and sands. This dies. We gain an element. Let's grab a another fire. Let's grab moon. Um, that's the third time we've used this here. And then we build in mountains, but only on the top board. And then we explore in sands and wetlands. Yeah, and then we added France 6 Explorer. Um, here, here, and then uh, we have a bad scout. Uh, we use this. Um, what does the slave rebellion do again? It's one damage per strife and then one per dahan, right? Yeah. So we gather these two guys here, generate one fear. And then ten passes. Now basically everything, anything, uh, everything we have to do is get two Dahan in here. So we reclaim, put out a presence. Um, we uh, gain, we play, share secrets, pay, use this, gather two Dahan in here. And uh, then we enter the invader phase where we have a slave rebellion. So we destroy one town. And then we add one strife to any two town cities. So this one and this one. And then they both take one damage and one damage per Dahan present. So this gets destroyed and this gets destroyed. And that's game. Uh, yeah, that was pretty fun. Like if you can start to do stuff with shifting memory, um, it actually becomes quite enjoyable because you can threshold like your mages um, better than many other spirits. Uh, sleep was a absolutely amazing draw for us and probably carried us throughout the game. Um, yeah, anyways, that's that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.